Hello everyone. Welcome to 8th video of using Excel as database. In this video, we are going to talk about how to keep old records, old, old entries. You know, once I have edited, edited an entry, the older entry is gone. I don't know what it was, what it was, what was the numbers before the editing. So I want to keep those number too. So I can have the complete order trail. In the last video, I talked about only uh, to save the data who has made, made this entry. Now I want to keep also the old entry. So my old record, my order track is complete. So let's go to Excel and continue with our workbook. Open Sesame. So here it is. First, what I need to do is I need to have another sheet. Why I need to have another sheet so that I can keep my old entries in that sheet. So let's have another sheet. And where is this? So this is new sheet. And let's rename it as backup entries. Right? Yeah, old entries. Or old entries is a better. So the, this is this sheet is old entries, and let's go and edit our macro to save this entries. And let me zoom out a bit. And uh, what else I need to do? Yes, I need to have this. Um, do I need to have the menus or the labels at the top? I think it's better to have. Let's copy. The labels from main data to old entries and let's say this is old old is gold so here it is and let's zoom in more yeah so let's go to our visual basic and editing I have this post updates okay pick data post data okay what else i need to have before posting the data i need to have and let's copy the and let's create that uh, order trail too so if i go to posting where it is where was the posting yeah so i created these entries and let's copy these two editing also so once i have a new entry entry edited i will try to keep the record who has altered this entry so this is this will be saved let's see let's see let's try to alter some entry and see if it is working uh, I have this number five, so let's change number five. It doesn't have any PC name user or something like that. Uh, edit entry, and I have this. Wow, this. So let's change this to other only. Update entry done. Let's go to HR data, and we can see in the username this is now user and like my order trail is complete. But I want to copy this to so when i'm editing i am picking data from my edit entry sheet and i'm going to post it into hr data so instead of before posting i need to make a copy of the current record so what i will do is i will Say before I'm in range this plus two. This is the column A of the row which I want to pick and paste into uh, old record sheet. So where I'm going to uh, write it first of all. I need to know 
where it should be written and this is very simple i think we have discussed this i need to write in three but how will automatically i will know which row to write what i'm going to do is i am going to say i have total entries total rows in excel these are 1048576 uh, 1058 476 is it right 1058 476 1048 576 oh it's better it's better to do is equal to row bracket start bracket close control c and paste it here value paste it here and we don't need the last you, you, you haven't seen because i am i was zoomed in you can see now you see i have the last this was a row so i don't need this now so i can delete this and go back and then i will say is equal to count and now you need to zoom in there you go is equal to count blank count blank what happened equal to count just a minute i need i think I mistakenly press some shortcut key anyways. So let's continue. Count blank A column A. So it was the whole column. So these are the blanks. So the field are this minus this. Two rows are filled. So I am going to write in the third row, which is E1. So I would pick up this name. Control C and go to Visual Basic and say um, whatever you have selected range. No, there is a variable. Variable is my uh, row to right to be written is equal to is equal to range inverted comma single inverted comma sorry single inverted comma single inverted comma exclamation e1 dot value so i know which row to write okay then uh, uh, let's change the let's change the values i would say Range old entries in old entries. I want to change one row, and that is to be written to and to be written. Then there will be a I think colon, and then is it correct? So, old entries E to be written, colon, and oh, there should be another and dot value. This is the target. This should be equal to equal to our current row where where we are, right? So, is equal to range. Can you see? Why can't you see? Okay, so let me put uh, go to the next row. This is okay. This should be equal to um, my active cell dot row, right? Active cell dot row. Okay, so this should be range. Uh, A. No, this should be row, column, row. Right? If I say uh, 13 is to 13, this should refer to the row. Dot row and in inverted commas column and so just the way uh, uh, just the way we say A column A, this means whole A column. If I say 3 is to 3, this means whole 3 row. Um, dot row 
and dot row dot value let's see if it if it works if it works let's go to our edit entry sheet so instead of author let's say we have salim now and say update entry and we have got an error debug old entries seven is to seven dot value okay to be written is three to be written is three so there is a problem let's stop this and let's try to say msg box and put this there and let's run this again and see if something happens no msg box is equal to maybe this will work now no there is an error still and no, we don't want let's say a, a is equal to maybe maybe i don't know there is error is something else range what if i say let's me convert it to okay okay and say old entries e column e this and this and this and this and and Oh, no, there is an error in this syntax. Uh, I'm to close this. Let's run this and see what we get in our message box. Range old entries E. Ah, this should be E to E3, right? E to whatever 3. This should, this should not be E rather right because then it will be a column so what we are uh, i think what we are having is a additional e because if it's whole row there should not be any reference to uh, there should not be any reference to e this should be only the row number which is this and this and this and ah finger crow fingers crossed let's see if it works i think this should be this well additional what is the error now range old entries this okay let's try to read the error expected separator or bracket close this is the problem this inverted comma is additional and still we have a problem range okay okay i am trying to check this old entries right and this and this column and to be returned i think this yeah now it, our command has been accepted and let's try again this time let's change to def update entry updating done and let's go to our hr data and we have this df here and let's go to our 
old entries and in old entries we have this Salim and this was updated right now this I hope it worked let's try to bring DEF here which is currently in HR data so let's replace DEF with ABC post it go to HR data oh this is DEF this should be ABC now and in old entries we don't have a new entry why is that this was 5 HR data was 5 what happened updating done It is TTE now, okay. But why this is ABC? Did I change here? Let me copy this, and I should be, you know. A uh, new entry update okay in HR data I have this new entry okay and what about my old entries ah here it is in in old entries what I am having is slim DEF TTE so all the names and each entry is being saved separately and you can see from the uh, audit trail I can see when each entry was actually made and it was replaced by another entry so let's edit some more entries instead of five let's change this so let's say this is Sony now update okay let's change seven to Mr. Sajid and update entry done and let's go to number eight instead of pool I am so when and update entry. So I have done this. Few entries were updated, and if I go to my output, uh, sorry, old entries. This is old entries, and you can see uh, the these are here, and there is some value error. But let's not go, go into it. And but we don't have an audit trail here. Why? Because when these entries were created, we were not. Uh, tracking the uh, PC name, username, and the time of entry. So in original entries, there was, these fields were empty. So let's go back and change some more, uh, make some more changes to number five. So in edit, I am going to make some changes to number five. So this is, was a new entry. Let's say this is now edit entry. So update entry. Okay, let's go to number six instead of Sony. Let's go to call Samsung and let's update entry. Okay, and go to number seven instead of Sajid. Let's get uh, Apple and update entry and go to number eight instead of swimming. Let's call it HTC and update entry. So if I go to HR data, which is our current records, these are the updated entries, right? And if I go to my old entries, I have all these entries uh, saved. Number five is appearing at one, two, three, four, at this, in these rows, and six is appearing twice, seven is appearing twice, and eight is appearing twice. And now I want to have a report. I want to have a Report. I have uh, created. Uh, I have created an audit trail of the old entries. Now all all the old entries are there. But I want to know. Uh, I want to have a report uh, about when certain entry was edited. So it is very simple. What I'm going to do is I am going to record a macro. After so long time, long time, we are back to recording. So I'm going to record a macro. Okay. What I'm going to do is I am going to go to cell A1, then press Shift Control and sorry, 
not end the shift control and why this everything let me save it up first time then go to shift control and so only the selected data is here so it is up to from a1 to o12 you can't see but let me zoom yeah so uh let's insert a filter from the data insert a filter and let's filter on let's uh, uh i want to have for the report for number five this is number five selected and i have this report i'm pressing alt semicolon just so that my selected data is being copied this is control c so i can uh, take this data to anywhere else or else what i can say is i can say is save as as pdf okay and save it in this file save it so the, that pdf is being created and it is created and let's stop recording go to our folder there's my folder come on here it is go to db and there is the pdf here is the pdf and you can see you can't see because there's not the other screen so here it is old is gold and we uh, these are the entries uh, that are being exported because uh, we have not set the uh, print area this is what we have got but my report is out okay so this is how i uh, this is very simple uh, as you saw i created a macro that will just filter this report once it is filtered it is saved in a new uh, as a pdf file it can be saved as a xls file is it can be saved as csv so my backup entry is are ready my audit trail is complete i can have a report on my audit trail so with this, uh, this video is complete. If you like the ideas of this video, think about giving this video a like. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible.